entrance antiphon, O God, save me by your name. By your power, defend my cause. O God, hear my prayer. Give ear to the words of my mouth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And as we uh, gather together today, I greet those here with us in the chapel of uh, the convent at St. Margaret's and uh, 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 those watching us over uh, YouTube or Facebook Live. And as we uh, uh, come before God, let's call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you suffered for our salvation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, in your resurrection, you showed your Father's forgiveness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, in the coming of the Holy Spirit, you shared your Father's forgiveness with all of us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who prepared fitting help for us in our weakness, Grant, we pray, that we may receive their healing effects with joy and reflect them in a holy way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The wicked said among themselves, thinking not right, let us beset the just one, because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, he reproaches us for transgressions of the law, and charges us with violations of our training. He professes to have knowledge of God and styles himself a child of the Lord. To us, he is the censure of our thoughts. Merely to see him is a hardship for us. Because his life is not like that of others, and different are his ways. He judges us these days. He holds our love from our path as from things impure. He calls blessed the destiny of the just and boasts that God is his father. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the son of God, he will defend him and deliver him from the hands of his foes. With revilement and torture, let us put him to the test, that we may have hope of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to his own words, God will take care of him. These were their thoughts that they heard, for their wickedness blinded them, and they knew not the hidden counsels of God. Neither did they count on a recompense of holiness, nor discern the innocent soul's reward. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord, the Lord is, is close, close to, to the, the brokenhearted. Broken 
The Lord confronts the evil doers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all, the Lord delivers him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He watches over all his bones. Not one of them shall be broken. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. The Lord is close to the broken heart. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. My friends, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus moved about within Galilee. He did not wish to travel in Judea because the Jews were trying to kill him, but the Jewish Feast of Tabernacles was near. But when his brothers had gone up to the feast, he himself also went up, not openly, but as it were, in secret. Some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem said, Is he not the one they are trying to kill? And look, he is speaking openly, and they say nothing to him. Could the authorities have realized that he is the Christ? But we know where he is from. When the Christ comes, no one will know where he is from. So Jesus crowded out in the temple area as he was teaching and said, you know me, and also know where I am from, yet I did not come on my own, but the one who sent me, whom you do not know, is true. I know him, because I am from him, and he sent me. So they tried to arrest him, but no one laid a hand upon him, because his hour had not yet come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, o Lord Jesus Christ. These were their thoughts because they erred, for their wickedness blinded them, and they knew not the hidden counsels of God, neither did they count on a recompense of holiness, nor discern the innocent soul reward. Our readings today have to do, as our uh, first reading from the Book of Wisdom says, with the hidden counsels of God. Uh, both our uh, first reading from the Old Testament and our Gospel reading from the Gospel of John speak of this hidden nature of God. Uh, uh, and it has to do with the fact that God's purposes, when they are working in the world and in Jesus Christ, are hidden from us if we look at them without faith. So in the first reading, the wicked decide to afflict the just one. And of course, this is a prophecy of Jesus' death on the cross. They think that they will show God is not with him and uh, God, through the uh, writer of the Book of Wisdom, says, no, they're erring. They're not seeing those hidden purposes of God 
uh, nor discerning the innocent soul's reward. And then Jesus in the gospel today, uh, he comes in uh, incognito, we would say nowadays, that's not a biblical word, but he comes incognito to uh, Jerusalem to celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles, and there people begin to recognize him, they realize who he is, but they say, well, he can't really be the Messiah, the Christ, because we know where he is from. But of course, Jesus knows, they do not know that he truly is the Son of God. They know his human origins, but not his divine origins. Well, what's the message there for us today? Well, right now we're going through uh, what uh, in the Bible is often called a tribulation, a great deal of suffering and hardship because of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. And we might just see it as an unmitigated disaster. But the message of the cross is that even in what we see as a disaster, God can still bring about his purposes. There can be a greater turning to him in faith. I hope that's happening. I hope more people are praying, committing themselves to God. There can be a greater outpouring of charity. We certainly see that in so many places. Everything from distilleries suddenly switching from making whiskey to making hand sanitizer. Uh, I'm uh, wondering if uh, when they're finished with it as a whiskey fragrance on your hands, I don't know about that, um, or to, of course, the thousands and thousands of healthcare workers who are giving of themselves. We've seen a real uh, sense of commitment from uh, the people who work in our food pantry, for instance, to help uh, there. Um, I'm a hospital chaplain. Our chaplains are ready and willing to go in to anoint the sick, even if they have COVID-19. Don't worry, we'll take the proper precautions. Uh, so all of us are uh, willing to do what we can to help each other. So today, even though we are in midst of what truly is a, a great deal of suffering and difficulty for the whole world, let's not forget the hidden counsels of God, that God is calling us to prayer and service. And uh, let's realize that when that happens, we are helping counteract the great evil that's happening around us with God's help and God's charity. And now let's bring our prayers to God, our Heavenly Father. We pray for the uh, church throughout the world, and especially that all Christians will Unite today, uh, Eastern Time, at 1 o'clock p.m. with Pope Francis. He's leading a special prayer from St. Peter's Square. So if you could uh, turn on uh, the television and watch him or uh, go on the internet to the Vatican News Service and live stream him there, you can see that and pray with Pope Francis today at 1 o'clock. So we ask God to bless Pope Francis, all the bishops, priests, uh, deacons, uh, uh, sisters and brothers throughout the world who are working in the midst of this time of the uh, uh, COVID-19 pandemic, that God may bless all the faithful of God, all Christians, that we may, through prayer and service, become closer to him and uh, uh, further our salvation and the salvation of the world in the time of this uh, pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all world leaders, especially those in places suffering from the pandemic. We uh, uh, pray for our government here in the United States and here in New York State, which is particularly stricken, that God may bless all those government officials, guide them in all they need to do to help relieve this pandemic, and help those who are sick and suffering. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the sick, especially those stricken by the pandemic, but all those who are sick, that they may become closer to Christ in this time and find healing and strength. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the 
dead, especially those dear to us. And in a special way today, we remember Judy Zorillo, who is remembered in this Eucharist, and all those stricken by uh, uh, and killed by this terrible virus, that God may grant Judy and all our beloved dead a place of refreshment, light, and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the health care workers and uh, emergency workers and all those responding to this uh, uh, pandemic, that God may bless them, keep them safe as they help others and guide them in the care they give to all those sick and during this pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pause now to add our own intentions in the silence of our heart. Almighty God, we bring our prayers before you, knowing that you will answer them as you do all things through Jesus Christ, who is our Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this sacrifice, Almighty God, cleanse us by its mighty power, and lead us to reproach its source with ever greater purity through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We let them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere. To give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. <clears throat> Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray. 
by sending down your spirit upon them, like the dewdrop, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Douglas, our Bishop, our retired Bishop Robert, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, but not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. and the fun. In Christ we have redemption by his blood and forgiveness of our sins in accord with the riches of his grace. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as we pass from old to new, so with former ways left behind, we may be renewed in holiness of mind, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Just a reminder, once again, uh, Pope Francis will be praying at 1 p.m. Uh, uh, from St. Peter's Square, and if you can join him live on uh, uh, television or through the internet, please do so. If not, if uh, uh, like our good sisters, you'll be hard at work somewhere, uh, please just uh, say a prayer at that time uh, uh, united with uh, Pope Francis and all those praying throughout the world uh, for an end to this terrible pandemic. Uh, also, at 3 o'clock, we hope on Facebook Live to have our um, uh, stations of the cross from our church and that will also be placed on our YouTube channel um, and uh, um, so please uh, join us for that and, uh, uh, and it will remain on our YouTube channel to be prayed you can pray the stations of the cross with us um, as much as you like uh, and uh, I've also been told I have to ask everyone please subscribe to our YouTube channel, our YouTube uh, page in, uh, on YouTube, because uh, it doesn't cost you anything, but it helps us. We might get a little money from it, maybe even buy an actual real camera instead of use iPads and cell phones. So uh, anything uh, uh, you can do to help by subscribing, we very much appreciate The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Look upon your servants, O Lord, and in your goodness protect with heavenly assistance those who trust in your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying God by your life. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.